Hello, it's Rob from Manila Solutions. And today we're going to look at the Cam Assist add-on for Master Cam. If you recall from our last video, we used Cam Assist to help us do the uh, first operation um, side on this part. So Cam Assist went through all of this, created all the facing, roughing, finishing tool paths, and organized them for us. Now the only thing I did is I added in a stock model at the end. So then this just allowed me to be able to export that model out and then utilize it as stock for my second size. So let's look at the setup for that. And I have, um, there we go. Okay, so this is a side then we're gonna we're gonna work on. So let's go into our machine group setup. Let me minimize op one. So I did create a new um, a new machine group. Let's go into our stock setup on that. Uh, and this is where. I chose that STL, that exported STL from the first op. I just chose it as a file, brought it into this one. I did specify the master model again. It's the same one we specified in our first video. And then I have my new um, fixed string, my vice for the second side specified. There we go. So let's look at um, cam assist app, how it works for the second side. So I'm going to open that cam assist application. And it's going to look much the same. The only difference is now you can see that I have op one and op two, and then I can toggle these on and off as needed. As needed. Um, and then as you add more operations, it'll give you those options in that group. So this one, I'm going to do op two, I'm going to work from the bottom. Um, and then my work holding, I'll just leave it at default. Uh, if I wanted to select avoidance, like me, maybe I could select the, the two jaws. Have that as avoidance too. So let's go into the tool use. Uh, and I'm probably going to leave everything the same. But again, we, we have our tool library to choose from, our number of tools that we have available to us to choose from. Uh, and then our material setup some cutting parameters that we would leave as default. And again, we could go through our list and choose what we want to allow for this, these tools and that. But I'll leave that as, as is. I'm not going to change anything there. And then um, in our advanced ribbon, we will use all the, the toolpath types. We're going to machine the full part. So again, if I unselect that, I could select the faces. For our roughing, we'll tell it to add a whole patch. So on faces like, like this, it'll add a whole patch in there to be able to machine right over top. And then I just have ten tile for my axial and radial values here. Um, for my finishing, we can just decide on the uh, order by type or minimize tool changes. Um, Flat operations, we want to use 2D area or horizontal. We'll leave ours at 2D. Uh, finishing freeform, waterline or hybrid. I'll use the waterline toolpath for these uh, finishing operations. And then I'll use the chamfer mill for our deburry mill. So that's all I'm going to choose there. And I'm going to select the green check and let it build the toolpath. So it's going to go through, look at the part, build out those various toolpaths, and then order them in subgroups. Okay, now it's just um, finishing up creating those 20 operations for the second op. And then it's just gonna go through and regenerate all those operations. 
Okay, so Camasys generated 20 operations and machining 150 of the 233 surfaces. I'm just going to push OK to that. And let those finish building. Okay, just like in the first operation, we have our roughing, our flat faces, our wall faces, hole making, freeform. Um, let's take a look at that and verify. So here we go. Select my op two. Choose my verify. And now let's do a quick file compare. Let me turn off my fixturing. See the completed part. And that is Cam Assist for Master.